Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2, a game that I've totally never played before. Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to actually make a... try to make a perfect square here, and we're going to put a few earths down. Uh, let's go for about 20 or so. So right now we're going to have 8, and then we'll do 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, great. I think that'll work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these earths and we're going to set them all. Oh, no. Can I not? Oh, this is going to be really annoying, actually. Okay, so we're going to have to do this one by one. Oh, we've got to go and we have to position lock them. Well, oh, okay, never mind. That's not that bad. I just have to go around in a circle. Okay, so the idea is we're going to do this, and then we're going to put a black hole in the exact center. And we're going to just see what effects it has on the Earths. Um, we're going to set the time super, super slow. And then once all the material is kind of like flying towards the center, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to delete the black hole and let it form a new planet out of the guts of all the Earths. And because it's going to be formed just from the particles, I don't think it'll actually consider itself an Earth object. It'll be like a generic planet object and it should actually look pretty neat. It should have random uh, continents and effects and stuff. So we're going to see how this works out. Um, again, new update, so who knows how it'll act. Okay, so when we play this, nothing should go flying, hopefully. And now we're going to add our black hole. We're just going to go simple. We're going to go one solar mass. Um, we could go bigger. We could go fancier. It's just not necessary. Okay, so now we're going to try to get it as close to, as possible to the center because that'll really mess with our results if we don't get it pretty much perfect. Barely even, you can't even see the black hole, it's so tiny. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the time step down a lot, like a lot, a lot. And once it's down to like, I don't know, milliseconds, here we go, let's hit play. And let's slowly ramp it up until we can see the effects. Uh, let's just choose this earth here. These are obviously the closest because they are, uh, well, closest. The corners are the furthest away and the sides are the closest earths. Um, so let's go ahead and check the temperature and see how it's doing. So it's already heating up. Like, the average surface temperature is raising pretty quickly. And considering it's only been, what, a few seconds so far... Uh, in the simulation, that's pretty impressive. But we're going to speed things up a little bit more to the point where we're going twice real time. So now at two times real time, we can see that as it's supposed to, um, nothing is moving. Oh, is the black hole... Did I remember to set the black hole to not move? Yeah, I should probably do that because this boy is going to start moving. Okay, there we go. Okay. Fantastic. So already we can see that the Erds are having material ripped off of their surface and towards the black hole, which is doing a lot of damage, um, admittedly enough. But we should see a beautiful stream of just very, very destroyed and molten material going towards that center there. And it should be more violent to the closer Erds. Ooh. Here we go. You can really see the effects of it. And of course, it's a black hole. Oh, shoot! The black hole accelerated the particle. It didn't hit the black hole, but accelerated the stuff to the speed where it then hit the Earth. Whoa! That is quite the gun we've invented. How fast is it flinging those particles? I want to know how fast that just hit. Oh, here's one. Okay, so we can see how fast it is based off of this. So it's going 48,000 kilometers per second, which is 
16% of light speed. Wow. We accelerated this fragment to 16% of light speed. And it's not a small fragment either. This thing is pretty massive. If we go to mass and set it to moon, ah, okay, maybe it's not like comparable to the moon. It's about 15% of the ocean, <laughs> of an ocean, <laughs> 40 atmospheres, but it's, I mean, it's definitely a visible object. It's very large and it's going to hit at 16, 16%. The speed of light, that's insanity, and it's going to hit this Earth with a ridiculous amount of force. I mean, the radius is 200 kilometers. That's probably a better way to look at it than mass. And when this hits, this Earth is almost going to instantly be vaporized, um, or begin vaporizing itself. The, the amount of heat it's about to take on, yeah. Yeah, that one part of Earth is now at, let's see, 100 thousand four hundred and twenty eight million degrees and it ripped a giant chunk of earth off when it hit as well that is insanity we can now see that th all of the earths that were directly on the sides of this experiment were uh hit in this way by stray particles i think the diagonal ones it's just harder or to make a direct hit wow this is actually pretty insane and this particle that's flying out is going really quickly too. But now look at this, all these fragments, and some of them aren't going to hit perfectly. So it's going to do the same thing. It's going to accelerate them. Oh, are any of them going to escape? Or is the black hole going to get all of them? Oh, it looks like the black hole got all of them. But look at all the particles. I mean, one of these or a few of these are going to be flung out. Oh, this one, these are all being flung in this direction, but that Earth was completely destroyed. Oh, this one just got hit. Man, look at the mass of Earth just drop so quickly after being hit by the light speed part. This one, too. They're, they're excel. Oh, this particle here in that fragment. Oh, my God. Look at that. They're, the Earths are literally murdering each other by flinging this material at several times the speed of well not several times but a significant fraction of the speed of light this is absolutely insane i i really did not expect these results um wow i don't think any of the earths are going to survive this there's just so much material that's about to be accelerated and the more the earths get destroyed the more particles get accelerated in this way this is the true way to make a particle accelerator although this earth and this earth still have to destroy each other this is really kind of a battle look at the <laughs> look at the amount of material we've shot out in these directions and these these are not going slow either these are going let's see speed where's the speed this one's going about 10% of the speed of light. That's insane. Oh shoot, oh shoot, that's it. They've all shot each other. Every single Earth has shot each Wow, there's going to be no survivors. That is absolutely, that is absolutely insane. These Earths, they aren't even following the rules of the game anymore. <laughs> they were told not to move, but they don't care. What the actual heck? Or did I just forget those ones? Maybe I just forgot those? Wow, the simulation is really confused and everything died. That was really weird. Okay, well that's new. That is certainly new. Some of these particles, the ones that are out the furthest, are likely going the fastest. So let's check how fast this one's going. That particle was going 742 light speeds. This one's going 371 times light speed. What the absolute heck? What the heck? How was that even possible? <laughs> oh my god, this game. Where is this one going? 71 times light speed. Wow. Such a simple experiment too. And that was uh that came out really well. 
I, I'm actually really, really impressed on... We're going to do this again, but we're going to do it in like a 3D box. But another time. Because that's that's all the time we have for today. But that was that was neat. I, I like that. I really like that. 20 Earths fight to the death. 16. 16 Earths fight to the death. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.